get my stand, baby. Do it like it's your B day, baby. Do it like it's your B day. Do it like it's your B day. Mm -hmm. Today we're gonna be making some homemade veggie stock from Kitchen Scraps. So I meal prepped the other day and I have all my scraps inside this bowl. And just a little side note, I love these bowls. Got them from Costco, have a lid. Comes in so here are all the scraps I have. I have some parsley, celery, bell peppers, like mushroom heads. Um, what else is in there? Some carrots, like some onions. I have all kinds of stuff in here. And um, this is my first time making this, so we're gonna see how this turns out. And just because I didn't think I had enough, I grabbed a couple more things. So I have some carrots that are getting ready to go bad soon, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add those in. I also have some tomatoes that are getting ready to go bad soon, and I just grabbed a couple mushrooms and a couple peppers just to, you know, throw a little more flavor in there. And then I also have an onion, and I'm gonna add in some fresh garlic. So let's get started. So I can go ahead and use this up. I'm gonna add in this garlic instead of the whole garlic clove. I'm actually, I'll make another video later on. I'm going to make my own minced garlic and probably just gonna peel the label off this and throw it back in this jar. I'm not gonna season it anymore right now. If I need to, I will do it later just because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. <laughs> so I'm gonna cover this with water and let it simmer for about three hours. It's been about an hour and this smells so freaking good. So let's check it in. Smelling good. Let's taste it a little bit. It's not really tasting like a whole lot of anything right now, so I'm going to I'm gonna season it. Okay, it's been two hours. Let's check it. It smells like Thanksgiving in here. It smells so good. I cannot wait. So I'm gonna try this and let's see. It actually tastes like vegetable soup now. I'm gonna go ahead and let this continue to simmer for another hour and then we should be done. So this is what it looks like after three hours. So I'm going to strain this off and allow it to cool down a little bit more before I put it away. <laughs> so I decided to be a little extra. I added all the veggies in here. I'm gonna add some water and blend it up. straining that out this is what we are left with which <laughs> is so much so I'm gonna add that to another jar I still have a little bit left so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna save this and add it to my dog's food sounds like a good idea to me so these are all the scraps that I'm left with. And I don't know if this can really be used for anything, but what I'm gonna do is save it and I'm gonna freeze it because I feel like this would be something that would be good to add to soups to just to like thicken it up or even, or even add it to my dog's food. So I don't know, I haven't decided. I'm just gonna freeze it and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with it later. This is the finished product. I have my veggie scraps, which is, this is just a bunch of fiber, which we can all use more of that in our lives. And I have my two 
mason jars of veggie stock. I'm gonna be using one probably tomorrow and I'm gonna use it to make some collard greens and then I'll save the other one for Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.